Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know. Without further ado, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. Stocks continue to climb as investors get good news from companies reporting very positive earnings reports, which would include companies like Chipotle as well as Ford. And this is one of the reasons why we've seen so much green in the stock market recently. So I hope that you have an ETF that tracks the NASDAQ or the S&P 500, because they have been performing extremely well. We even have Bitcoin up today at $44,209, so comment down below if you own any Bitcoin. But instead of talking about cryptocurrencies, let's focus on stocks. Like we mentioned in the last video, Disney, ticker symbol DIS, which is a phenomenal entertainment company, blew their expectations out of the water in their most recent quarterly earnings report. But you probably didn't know that Disney recently announced a $1.5 billion stake in Epic Games, which is the maker of a video game called Called Fortnite. This would represent Disney's largest investment ever in regards to video games, and they are going to allow Epic Games, and particularly Fortnite, to use characters from Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and Avatar. And the good news keeps getting better, because Disney also revealed a planned Moana sequel for theaters. So this is just going to add to their overall prowess in regards to their entertainment. That's why investors really need to be paying attention to Disney right now as we see their stock price absolutely surge. Another stock news, we have Coca-Cola, which is one of my favorite dividend companies, has recently released a new permanent flavor called Spiced, and this is the first time that they've done this over the last three years. However, many people believe it just tastes like raspberry. If you didn't know, Coca-Cola is a beverage company, and they have very well-known products, so I would highly recommend you look further into Coca-Cola before their share price continues to trend upwards. We also have a Tesla in the news, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which also specializes in artificial intelligence, and they also have a segment in regards to energy storage and energy generation. According to recent metrics, Tesla apparently only sold one car in South Korea during the month of January, thus marking their worst month in the country since July of 2022. And if you didn't know, in July of 2022, Tesla literally sold zero cars over in South Korea. But don't let that stop you from investing into this phenomenal company. It seems that a lot of investors, analysts, and news outlets continuously report bad news in regards to Tesla to lower their share price. But I am absolutely loving it. Not because I like the bad news, but I like how the share price is trending lower because it allows me to buy this phenomenal company at a cheaper price. But before I go on a long tangent about why I love Tesla so much and why I am buying this company hand over fist, let's move on to our next news story, which comes from Uber. The reason why Uber is in the news today is because they reported their first annual profit since going public back in 2019. And the recent year marked their first annual profit as a public company, to where they raked in nearly $1.9 billion, to where $1.4 billion came in just the last quarter alone. That means we are going to see Uber's share price uptrend aggressively, since they are now actually taking home money from their operations. Uber's share price has been very volatile over the last few years due to major losses in their operations. However, since then, they have streamlined their operations, thus bringing in loads of profit. So therefore, from this point forward, we're going to see a steady uptrend in their share price. And that's why I would highly recommend you do more research into this company because I am buying them right now. It seems that Uber also has a few other tricks up their sleeve, which we will talk about in another video. But as of right now, I am very excited about what the future holds for Uber. Next, Next up, we have Roblox, which is a video game company, and their shares recently popped by 12%. The reason for the surge in their share price is because this gaming platform reported a 30% revenue spike, which absolutely invigorated investors. On top of that, their user numbers soared by 22%, thanks to a warm welcome from Sony's PlayStation and Meta's Quest last fall. Therefore, this has provided new ways for people to play Roblox on their gaming platform, which led to an increase in revenue and general users. So this is great news for Roblox, and I would highly recommend you look into this company as well. We also saw Taco Bell's parent company, named Yum Brands, recently come out with earnings which disappointed investors. But don't let that fool you, because Yum Brands is still a phenomenal investment which I personally hold in my portfolio. We also saw Sphere Entertainment, ticker symbol SPHR, which is the business behind 
sign Las Vegas's sphere. This company recently reported $314 million worth of revenue for its first full quarter with the venue opened. On top of that, the sphere is selling ad space with deals worth around $2 million leading up to the Super Bowl. So again, Sphere Entertainment is a very interesting company to look into and I would highly recommend you do so. But now let's talk about the latest news updates in regards to AI stocks and artificial intelligence companies. Let's start off by talking about Super Microcomputer, C3.AI, Taiwan Semiconductor, and other AI related stocks. Recently, we've seen AI server specialist named Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI, jump by 1.6%. We also saw AI solutions provider C3.AI, ticker symbol AI, jump by 3.4%, while chip maker Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, ticker symbol TSM, jumping by 6.8%. But the news gets even better. Because warehouse automation specialist Symbotic, ticker symbol SYM, soared by 9.2%, and to top all of this off, the AI audio solutions provider named Soundhound AI, ticker symbol SOUN, surged by 14.6% in their share price. It seems that we've experienced a giant wave of investors pouring into these AI companies, thus pushing their share prices even higher. Now, there wasn't any particular company news that I can think of in regards to any of these companies, however, I believe they are right riding the wave of the recent financial results from ARM Holdings, ticker symbol ARM, ticker name ARM. We touched on this company in the last video because they recently brought in a very impressive earnings report in regards to their earnings and revenue. ARM is a semiconductor specialist which recently reported results that impressed investors. And if you want to know about the numbers they brought in, feel free to watch yesterday's video. However, I want to hone in on what the CEO said, which we didn't mention yesterday, to where the chief executive said this, and I quote, AI is not in any way, shape, or form a hype cycle. He goes on to say, We believe that AI is the most profound opportunity in our lifetimes, and we are only at the beginning, end quote. And honestly, I completely agree with the CEO here. This has caused a buying frenzy, and not only ARM, but a lot of other artificial intelligence-related stocks like we talked about earlier. That's why we've seen the share prices of companies like Super Microcomputer, which makes high-end servers that are energy-efficient and highly customized customizable, thus helping meet the growing demand for artificial intelligence. Or a company like C3 AI, which offers turnkey AI solutions that help enterprises get AI applications up and running quickly. Or we have Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, which operates a foundry that produces many of the chips used in AI applications. Let's also not forget about Symbotic, which developed an AI-fueled end-to-end warehouse automation system that optimizes storage and traffic. And then last but not least, we have Soundhound AI, which provides AI-controlled voice and audio solutions to the automotive and restaurant industries, which are all surging in their share price ever since ARM released that phenomenal earnings report and their CEO came out with that statement. So if you want to adopt the future, then feel free to invest into these AI-related companies. In other news, we have consumer financing firm called Affirm Holdings, ticker symbol AFRM, which recently reported a smaller than expected loss in their December quarter, while their revenues and other financial metrics topped Wall Street estimates. More good news for the company is that their projections exceeded current estimations by analysts, which is very good news for investors, but despite this good news, AFRM stock fell by more than 13% down to $42.74. Honestly, this drop in their share price does not make sense fundamentally for the company, and here's why. Analysts forecasted that the company would report a $0.72 cent loss per share for their EPS, but the company only brought in a loss of $0.54 cents per share, which is much better than what Wall Street originally projected for them, and that is good news for the company. On top of that, a firm's revenue climbed by 48% up to $5. $591 million, which destroyed Wall Street's expectations for the company to only bring in $521 million. But again, despite this great news, the company's share price still fell by around 13%, and this is a classic example of the stock market acting irrationally after good news. But maybe the pullback was warranted, considering that AFRM stock has already gained 193% in their share price over the last year. If you didn't know, this company is a buy now, pay later company, and that's what they focus on. Essentially, this company will enable you to buy something and then allow you to pay off the total price in monthly installments. As an example, 
example, if you bought something that was worth $100, you would be able to pay off the $100 in four monthly installments of $25. And what would make this better than a credit card is that they offer lower interest rates or even no interest rates at all sometimes. So that's why buy now, pay later has been very successful recently, and that's why a firm's shares have surged over the last 52 weeks. I personally am not invested in this company, but I know some investors really like it, so I would highly encourage you to do your own research on this company. We also have a Shopify in the news today, ticker symbol SHOP, and I think this company has been doing very well. The company's share price has recently jumped by 7.4%, as the e-commerce platform provider has recently received a lot of positive commentary from Wall Street analysts. Investors currently are honing in on what analysts over at Citigroup had to say about this company, to where they increased their overall price prediction for the company from their original $87 price target to a price target of $96. This would represent a potential gain for investors of roughly 13% compared to their recent close. So again, this is a pretty good news update for Shopify, again, which is an e-commerce platform. With the improvement of macroeconomic factors, an improving economic landscape, and waning inflation, there's no doubt that Shopify will continue on their growth momentum. But that's not all, because Shopify is currently scheduled to report their fourth quarter and full year earnings results on Tuesday. So investors are biting their nails over this because many people believe this company has a lot more upside left in them. I personally think they are going to have a phenomenal earnings report, and here's why. Analysts currently estimate that their revenue will come in at around $2.08 billion, equating to a 20% increase. However, the big news for this company will will come in the form of their adjusted earnings per share of 31 cents, and this would equate to a 343% increase. It's been a long road for this e-commerce company, but they are very well positioned and I believe the future is very bright, which is why I deem this company as a buying opportunity right now, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Next up, we have Cloudflare in the news, ticker symbol NET, and the reason why they're in the news is because they reported their fourth quarter earnings and revenue results, which topped Wall Street estimates. If you didn't know, Cloudflare started back in 2009, and they worked to speed up and provide security for web applications routed through its intelligent global network. So let's get into the details about this phenomenal news update, because Cloudflare earnings were 15 cents a share, which represents a 166% increase. On the other hand, their revenues climbed by 32%, up to $362.5 million. This company had a revenue CAGR of over 30%, and an EPS increase of 160% from the year prior, which is phenomenal news. The company also beat analyst estimates because they only thought the company would bring in an EPS of 12 cents, but they actually brought in an EPS of 15 cents, while they projected that their revenue would come in at $353 million, but instead they brought in $362.5 million, thus beating on both their top and bottom lines. Their chief executive even said, and I quote, we had an exceptionally strong fourth quarter. He goes on to say, we grew revenue by 32% year over year to $362.5 million, blew away our previous records for new ACV, delivering the highest quarterly growth since 2021, and signed both our largest new customer win and largest customer renewal ever, end quote. Therefore, it's no surprise why Cloudflare's NET stock jumped by 15% up to $103.76, with further upside still left in this company. But what I really like about this company is that in late September, Cloudflare announced its workers' AI platform and partnerships with Microsoft. And if you know me, I love Microsoft. So any company that does business with Microsoft is a friend in my book, and that's why, again, I would encourage you to look into this company because I personally own them. As an investor, you should also be aware that Pinterest recently reported their earnings results, and if you didn't know, Pinterest is a social media platform. Pinterest's quarterly revenue fell a little shy of Wall Street estimates, but profits slightly exceeded expectations, and these essentially offset each other. They barely missed on their revenue, and they barely exceeded on their earnings per share, so again, there's really no volatility in their share price right now due to this. However, given the recent volatility in other social media stocks like Snap, which has dropped substantially in their share price due to disappointing earnings results, I think this is a win for Pinterest. 
During the fourth quarter, Pinterest, which is the social media company, provided revenue of $981.3 million, equating to a 12% increase from the year earlier. But this did fall short of Wall Street expectations to where they forecasted that the company would bring in $991 million. However, on an adjusted basis, the company earned a 53 cents a share, which was a penny above Wall Street's consensus estimates, so again, these offset each other. But to ensure that their future results won't be mixed and instead will invigorate investors, the CEO said in a statement that recent cost-cutting moves and other changes sets us up to be a stronger and a more efficient company as we double down on our momentum in 2024. So overall, this is not too shabby, but I personally do not own Pinterest in my portfolio, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Next up, let's talk about Warren Buffett, which recently has been heavily investing into two companies that you need to be aware of. Warren Buffett's portfolio holdings are closely tracked by investors around the world, so anytime Buffett makes a move, we need to be informed. And what I like about Warren Buffett is that he preaches long-term investing, and I am a long-term investor, so we have literally the same investment style. Essentially, you would want to buy a company, hold it at minimum for 10 years, but at maximum, you would hold a company forever. And I can think of multiple companies off the top of my head that I plan to hold forever, which would include companies like Berkshire Hathaway, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Walmart, Coca-Cola, and others like that. As of right now, Warren Buffett holds around 45 stocks in his Berkshire Hathaway portfolio, and that is valued at around $313 billion. And because Berkshire Hathaway's recent 13F filing, we saw that he bought up shares of Occidental Petroleum as well as Liberty Sirius XM Corporation. Occidental Petroleum Corporation, ticker symbol OXY, is one of Warren Buffett's all-time favorite stocks. If you didn't know, this company is an oil company, and Warren Buffett has been interested in the oil and gas company for a very long time now. Warren Buffett has the utmost confidence in this company, and he believes that their future growth trajectory will be extremely robust due to their sound leadership. This legendary investor has recently bought up 10 million shares of the company, worth roughly $588 million. The company also has an upcoming catalyst in the form of Occidental announcing its plans to acquire Crown Rock Minerals for approximately $12 billion. We also see analysts chiming in on this stock, such as Raymond James and Morgan Stanley, who have a strong buy rating for this company and a price prediction of $68, equating to a 22% upside potential for investors. We also see Warren Buffett buying approximately 70 million shares of Liberty Sirius XM Group, ticker symbol LSXMA. Now here's the great thing about this company. In a recent deal struck between Liberty Media and Sirius XM in December, the tracking stock is set to merge with Sirius XM. Liberty Sirius XM holders are expected to receive 8.4 shares of the new Sirius XM stock for each of their shares, translating to a value of about $44 per share. So let me break this down and tell you exactly what this means, because trust me, you're going to want to pay attention to this. This presents an opportunity for investors to purchase a stock at around $30.81 to potentially gain roughly $44 dollars in a Sirius XM stock within the next six months. This deal is set to close in the third quarter, and this is one of the most attractive risk-to-reward investments you could possibly get right now. This is why I personally am buying LSXMA stock, because the risk-to-reward ratio here is absolutely extravagant. It's literally like a no-brainer here. They are going to give me money for investing into this stock if I just hold it for six months when this deal ends up going through. Now, clearly there is some risk here, but overall, this deal is phenomenal for investors, and I would recommend you do your own research and take advantage of it. With that being said, I would love for you to go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.